Watch Instagram Reels all day from your wrist. Book any Uber cab without your phone. It's unbelievable. The watch comes with the full-fledged Play Store to download any app you need. Hi there. Here's the all-new Firebolt Oracle. It's actually a wrist phone where you can insert a SIM card directly inside the watch. So technically, you don't even need a phone anymore. It's perfect if you don't want to carry your phone with you all the time. By the way, it's running a full-fledged Android OS with built-in Play Store from where you can download all your favorite apps like WhatsApp, Instagram, Uber, YouTube, and even games like Subway Surfer. Of course, you also have the usual smartwatch features like health monitoring, sports tracking, and the shocker is it's priced at just four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Unbelievable! Can't wait to see how it looks, how it performs. So, without further ado, let's quickly unbox it and dive straight in. Let's begin. So, here is the retail packaging. You can see the image of the watch. Ticks with Fire OS. Some key features are mentioned on the side. Towards the back, you can see some more info. Here are the manufacturing details and the MRP of twenty-four thousand nine ninety-nine. Let's open it up. So, right on the top is some paperwork which has the user manual and some coupon codes. Then you have this small plastic piece which is designed to open the SIM card tray. The Firebolt Oracle watch, silicon straps, and the same pogo pin charging cable that magnetically aligns and attaches to the watch charging terminals. The magnets are pretty strong, so don't worry, they won't snap off easily. All right, let's have a closer look at the watch. So first, you can see there's this plastic on the top to protect the watch from any scratches. There you go. Then there is also a screen protector. Make sure to remove it. Then we have these straps. We'll attach them too. So make sure you attach this section on the top. Simply slide it, and it will lock. And this section at the bottom. There you go. Now let's have a closer look at the watch. First look, and it reminds you of the Apple Watch Ultra. Totally identical design. You can see the crown here. You can see there's a button here. You can also spot the microphone for phone calls. You can spot the big speaker here. You can spot the action button. Also orange in color, which looks very very identical. Absolutely flat display. By the way, this is a metal body, matte finish, so it won't attract any fingerprint or smudges. Extremely well built. Soft silicon straps with a buckle design. You can also spot the Firebolt branding on them. The quality is truly really good. Moving towards the back, and there is a sticker here as well. Basically, all there to prevent any scratches. Wow! Now this looks like it's made of glass. Very very premium. And of course, you can spot the heart rate sensor, aspirator sensor, and of course, then the charging terminals are on the top. Very very well built watch if you see. Of course, this is made in India as you can see it's mentioned here. Four screws, really really well built watch. Now I know some of you might be thinking, where is the SIM card slot? Since we have the crown here, button here, we have the speaker here, and there's a button here. Well, actually, this orange button is the SIM card tray. You take this blue piece, insert it in here, and the SIM card tray comes out. You can place the nano SIM card on the top like this. And simply insert it. There you go. Simple and clean. Let's boot up the watch. So first, you'll be greeted with the Firebolt logo, followed by the Android OS animation. It looks so cool. There you go. The watch is booted and ready to use. Before we move to the experience, let's quickly touch upon its key specifications. So it's powered by the quad-core CPU, 2 GB RAM with 16 GB storage, 4 G LTE volt support. Built-in GPS support. It also has Wi-Fi support, Bluetooth earphone connectivity support, and it's running Android 10 OS. Now, unlike regular smartwatches that you set it up using the phone's app, there is no such process here. Now, once you're booted, first thing you're going to do is press this button, scroll down to Settings, and here go to Wi-Fi, and make sure you connect the watch to Wi-Fi first. There you go. There you go. It's connected. Once connected, there might be a pop-up for an update, like you can see here. Make sure you complete this process first before you start using it. Coming to the display, so it comes with a 1.96-inch LCD display with a resolution of 360 by 320 pixels. Now you can see this is such a high-resolution display, which is why even the smallest numbers and text are clearly visible. Above that, I must add, even though an LCD display, the color reproduction is actually super vibrant and punchy, which is amazing. Now you can change watch faces by quickly just rotating the dial from here. Check that out. This clearly doesn't look like an LCD display. The colors are so good. Also, I must add that the blacks are really nice. 
If you want to talk about the bezels, here you can see the bezels are actually quite thin, they're not very thick and they're almost equal on all the sides which makes the watch look so premium. Now Firebolt claims 600 nits of peak brightness, we briefly tested it outdoors and as you can see, it's so clearly visible. The smallest text, the brightness, the crispness is all perfect. Alright, let's have a closer look at the interface. Swipe from up to access your notifications and missed call alerts. There will be a list here. You can clear them if, them if you want to. Swipe from down to access your quick toggles. Starting from the top, you have Wi-Fi, you have Bluetooth, you can check the battery percentage, you can turn on and off the ringer, do not disturb, then you have GPS toggle, then you can go into the settings, you can adjust the brightness from here, and trust me, it gets really bright. Right now, I've toned down the brightness so that you can see the display clearly while recording. Then further down, you have notes, you have toggle for shutdown, flight mode, you can put a lock, toggle on and off your data, you can set a timer, by the way, did you notice all the icons have been adapted from the Apple Watch Ultra? It looks so similar and also very smooth interface. And of course, if you want to change watch faces, you can just toggle the dial and it will change the watch face. It's really swift and smooth. Now for the fun part, as you press this button, it will access the menu. Now even the icons here have been borrowed from the Apple Watch. Check that out, just exactly the same. And the first thing to notice is the 60Hz refresh rate. It's buttery smooth. Can you also see that the earth is revolving along with the icons? I find this animation so cool. Okay, starting from the top, you obviously have messages, then you have phone calling, which we'll come to just a moment. Then you have contacts, you have settings, diving into settings, you have APN that you can set, Wi-Fi that you can connect to. Of course, you can see we're already connected. Then you have Bluetooth, then you have Wi-Fi hotspot, you have location, wireless update, brightness adjustment, screen time out, language, input method, application view, watch faces, sound, as audio you can change, date and time, you can also set a password, there's an SOS, you go into this and you can set an SOS number that you want to call, battery information, applications, reboot, reset, shutdown, about, then further you have your album, the music, you can store music on this and listen to it, browser, then there's the file explorer, you can record the audio, then there is heart rate, there's SPO2, there's sports modes, there's a pedometer, you can set an alarm. Can we set an alarm directly from the watch? Yes. And I find this feature very convenient that you can set the alarm directly from the watch. Of course, here you don't have an app, so you have to set the alarm directly from here. How stupid of me. You have the calculator app, then you have the app management, PA pressure, menu style. Now there are a couple of menu options that you can choose from. This is my favorite. Then this is the one that you usually see on phones. Now I'll just give you a quick look at it there. The kind of menu that we see on our smartphones where we can see all the icons. Then there is this earth one and this is the standard one that we have seen for so many years on smartwatches, the regular one. Then you have calendar, then you have video, you have Chrome, you have Google Assistant, you have Google Maps, you have the YouTube app, you have the timer, you have the stopwatch, you have the compass, you have the Facebook app. You have the Instagram app, you have the WhatsApp app, Pura Meta ka Pura Bancha Mare Paas. Then there's the Play Store and we also have the Uber app. So overall, I must say that the interface is buttery smooth. It's actually got a lot more better than its previous smartwatches. It's an experience using them. Let's check out phone calling. Now to make phone calls from this watch, you come into the menu, you come into the dial app here, you'll see call logs, you'll see contacts, you'll see dial pad. I'm just going to dial pad and I'll randomly dial a number. Now you can talk directly using a smartwatch. Similarly, you can also receive incoming calls and you can just press the answer button and talk from your smartwatch itself. It's so convenient. Simply after talking, end the call from here. When it comes to the call experience, the speaker was quite loud and can be heard both indoors as well as outdoors, unless you're in an extremely noisy environment. The mics on the watch also do a really good job and the other person had no problems hearing me. However, if you're uncomfortable to use the speaker for phone calls, you can also pair Bluetooth earphones by going into the Bluetooth menu. Here you can see my OnePlus Buds Pro 2 are already connected. Now I can even listen to music and attend phone calls conveniently. Let's talk about the app user experience, starting with everyone's favorite, Instagram. It works just as good as on a phone. Smooth scrolling, the clarity is pretty good, and you can even like the post by double tapping on the display. There you go. Wonderful experience, I would say. Then you can also see stories. They go edge to edge and are very clear. Here you can watch reels too. 
Imagine watching your favorite reels on your wrist. So cool. Coming to probably the most used app ever, WhatsApp. So here you can see the chats, you can open and read them. Oh, for those wanting to know, can we make and answer WhatsApp calls on the watch? Check this out. Yes, you can make WhatsApp calls and receive WhatsApp calls directly on your watch. Then booking an Uber is so convenient. Simply select the place, choose the cab type and book. It's very, very handy. If you like to watch videos, there's nothing like the YouTube app. You can stream videos on the watch, but it will play on the top half of the display. You can make it full screen, but the video will play in landscape mode. In fact, it's better. You get more screen space and looks pretty good too. Then Google Maps to navigate, choose your destination and click start. It will use the built-in GPS in the watch and show you the route. Imagine how much easy this is going to be. When it comes to gaming, I know, a lot of people would want to play PUBG and Call of Duty and you can probably play that too. But who are we joking? I suggest you stick to basic games like Temple Run or Subway Surfer. They will work just fine. Coming to health monitoring. So we tested the heart rate. And here you can see we got the readings. Then here's SpO2. Even though dependable, this isn't a medical equipment. So use these readings just for your reference and not for medical purposes. Coming to fitness and workouts, to access it go to the menu and scroll down to sports and you'll notice the first thing is that the menu here too is very similar to the one you would see on an Apple watch. So right on the top is outdoor walking, then you have indoor walking, outdoor bicycle, then you have open cycling, open training, op on foot, then there is elliptical training, there's stepper, there's cycling, there's a lot of modes here. And if we just start a workout here, let's start for example, we do outdoor walking and it'll say play sport you click on play and the first thing it does is search for gps because this watch is gps enabled once the gps is set you can click play and there's a countdown and your workout will start so right on the top you'll see the time of your workout the calories burned your heart rate the distance everything in detail and of course once your workout is complete you can pause your workout or end your workout directly from here so convenient coming to the battery so the Firebolt Oracle comes with a huge 700mAh battery which should last you for about 2 days with light use. But yes, if you're going to do a lot of Instagram, lots of WhatsApp, lots of videos, then one day at best. The good thing is that it charges also pretty quickly. Alright, final thoughts. Does the Firebolt Oracle replace your smartphone? Well, the answer is yes and no. Yes, because for 4999 you have a full-fledged phone on your wrist. No need to carry your phone with you all the day. For elderly people, they don't have to hunt for their phones. And also with the built-in SOS feature, they can actually reach out to people without hunting for their phone. I think that's really helpful. But keep in mind that this phone lacks a camera. So there are a couple of features that you will miss out on. The Firebolt Oracle for 4999 is an absolute steal. However, remember this is just an introductory offer, so grab it on the first day. There are multiple color options available. It goes on sale today, 22nd of March on Flipkart and the Firebolt website. I'll share the links of all the color variants in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.